Welcome to 10 Minutes of Grace with Bishop Jean W. Bruno. Each week, this broadcast comes into your home sharing insights to help you understand the nature of God. This is a powerful time that is sure to revive, encourage, energize, and uplift you. We cannot wait to see the new thing that God is about to do in your life. So tune in every Tuesday to 10 Minutes of Grace. And remember, his grace is sufficient. And now, here is Bishop Bruno with a powerful word. Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to 10 Minutes of Grace. Uh, please share this video with someone. I truly appreciate it. Uh, the title for our talk today is A Heavenly Companion. A Heavenly Companion. Uh, John chapter 14, verse 16. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, a comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, a strengthener, a standby to be with you forever. Uh, we, we all know that sometimes uh, the everyday stuff can be overwhelming. Uh, stress, uh, illness, or pain. Uh, somebody listening to me, you're fighting a disease in your body with every ounce of strength and prayer you can muster. Uh, the good news is uh, we have a heavenly companion, uh, the Holy Spirit. He is the third person of the Holy Trinity. Jesus called the Holy Spirit the helper. The helper. He will en enable us. He will enable us to face every single circumstance of life, no matter what. Glory to God. No matter who abandons or ignores you in this life, no matter who lets you down, the Holy Spirit is your perfect companion. Hallelujah. He is holding you in God's perfect love. And perfect love drives out fear because fear has, has torment. Glory be to God. And I pray for you right now that the devil cannot torment you in Jesus' name. So you can trust God. You can trust the Holy Spirit with everything. So Jesus performed all of his miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus' closest earthly companions betrayed him, denied him, and scattered, the Holy Spirit walked with Jesus when everybody else abandoned Jesus, the Holy Spirit was with him. I'm, I'm here to tell you that the Holy Ghost will stick by your side. Amen. And if God is for you, who can be against you? Uh, the Holy Spirit empowered Jesus to endure the agony of the cross. And the Spirit was there on Easter Sunday after Jesus was dead and Jesus was buried and he was put in the grave. The Holy Ghost was there on Easter Sunday in the cemetery to raise Jesus from the dead. Indeed, what a companion the Holy Spirit is. Uh, and please, uh, do not grieve him and do not ignore him. Uh, Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. I am with you. God is promising uh, Jacob. Uh, 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 that's a powerful promise uh, God is making to Jacob. Uh, I am with you and will watch over you. And I will protect you wherever you go. Uh, one day, I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have finished giving you everything I have promised you. God will give you everything he has promised you. All the promises of God and Christ Jesus are yes 
and amen. What a marvelous verse. Uh, it speaks of God's presence and preservation. And when we need traveling mercies, God surrounds us. We are pilgrims and strangers in this world. And yet, in every place we travel, the Lord is our dwelling place. Glory to God. And he has been to our fathers a good, good God. To Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he has been a good, good God. In this scripture, God says to Jacob, I will keep you. Uh, when God says, I will keep you, you are in no real danger. Uh, God is able to keep you from falling and to present you blameless and faultless before his throne with mighty shouts of everlasting joy. I feel God. I feel the Holy Ghost. We give God thanks and praise. We have a heavenly companion. Glory to God. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. Glory to God. So Jacob had never left his father's house before. He had been a mother's boy. Yet when Jacob left his father's house on a journey through the desert, God went with Jacob. It was dangerous in the wilderness, but the Holy Spirit was his bodyguard. You have a heavenly bodyguard, companion, glory to God. So Jacob had no luggage, no one to assist him. Even while he slept in the open field in the desert, the angels of God watch over Jacob. And Yahweh spoke to Jacob. And our darkest most painful times of suffering, God will comfort us. The Holy Ghost will be your heavenly companion. Glory to God. And, and the Holy Ghost can meet your physical, spiritual, and emotional needs. And he will do it. And remember this week, grace, amazing grace is coming your way.